All right, guys, so a few weeks ago, I made a video on a bald line and trimmer line, zoomed in, up close and personal, super detailed and slow motion, showing you guys how to go about that step by step. And I had no idea that video would do so well. You guys left a ton of comments on there to do a taper video in the same way. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you guys missed that bald guideline video, click this card up above and check that one out after this video. And if you guys have any other videos you want me to do like this, zoomed in, slow motion, and broken down. Leave it in the comment section down below. But anyway guys, I hope this video helps as much as the ball guideline video, but let's get into the taper. All right guys, so first thing I want you to pay attention to is this M shape at the bottom of the nape area. Most people have something like this on their neck, and if we don't cut this off and we do our taper below this, you will see that in your open section. So as best as possible, we wanna cut that all the way off, along with any growth patterns that are going up like you can see right here. So we're gonna start off with a Slimline Pro. We're gonna punch our guideline in straight across at the top of all that mess that we talked about at the beginning. Now I know the line doesn't look very straight. I am gonna straighten up a little bit more. I'm trying to stay out of the camera and the camera is at an angle. So we wanna just do a straight line at that good point that we talked about above all the stuff at the bottom that could cause some problems without going above the bottom of the ear. That's kind of my normal kind of guideline I follow. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bald everything out with the slim line and we can come in with the shaver underneath that and get it down to skin. And if you guys want more detail on working that shaver, go check out that other video and it will answer any questions that you have. Now this is the Gamma Uno shaver and I'm just balding out everything from the bottom up into that trimmer. So you can see I'm flicking into the trimmer line, not leaving any harsh lines. If you do leave a line that you don't like, just tap the shaver on the line until it goes away. So our next step, we will use the lever all the way open and we're gonna go up about three quarters of an inch to an inch. A lot of time on the back taper, we have a little bit more room to work than when we're doing a fade or doing a side taper. So we just wanna make a consistent guideline all the way across, like I said, about three quarters of an inch. And then we can start to work the guideline out from there. Now normally I would start to work on that bottom line before I move my way up. I wanted the thumbnail to show all the lines so I went ahead and put the open one guideline in. And guys, the rest of the head is already cut down to a two. So normally I would do this step a little bit later, but go ahead and setting it up is not a problem. We're just gonna put this line in and then we're gonna start from the bottom and take everything out. Okay, so for our first step, we're gonna flick the line out with the slim line. We put the line in with the slim line and we need it to take it out. So you guys see the stroke there in that slow-mo, you can see I'm scooping through the line and out off the head. And we will continue the same type of stroke. We're just gonna work our way up. So slim line first, then we're with the clipper closed. And guys, these are the Low Pro FX. They have notches. And for some reason with the notches, I have more issues. So we're gonna do all the way closed, then the second notch, then the third notch. So now we have the clipper on the second notch and we're just gonna take that line up just a little bit further. And guys, on a normal clipper with no notches, I would do the lever halfway open, but for some reason with the notches, I tend to do it this way because I leave more lines than I like. So now we're on the third notch, flicking the rest of the line out. After that, if we need to move our lever around and take anything out, we can. We just wanna start long, close the lever up little by little until we get those dark spots out. Now we're gonna to start to attack the next line. You guys see the stroke is the same. We're coming through the line and off the head. This is a one guard all the way closed. It's gonna to start to lighten this line up, but it will not take it all the way away. That's gonna be what our half guard is for. Now we've gotten it as lightened up as we could with the one guard closed. We're gonna come in with our half guard. It is halfway open, guys. That is the sweet spot. I'm gonna attack the line with it halfway open. If there's anything that doesn't come out from the open clipper, I can either close up the half guard, as you'll see here in a second, or I can go back to my open clipper, and that's really just personal preference. So now the half guard is closed. You guys can see there's just a little bit of a dark line left and we closed it up and we can attack the last little hints of a line. Then we can move on and take the last line out above the open one. Now this is probably the toughest area of this particular taper. 
you guys saw we set the line in with the open one but it wasn't very drastic you couldn't really see it and right now you're seeing a lot of indentions so you guys see an indention behind his ear and right in the middle under the occipital so we have the one and a half halfway open just like the half guard guys the one and a half and the half should be used halfway open that's going to be your sweet spot so we're just trying to connect the open one to the two now if it doesn't do it again i have an option to close up the one and a half or go back to the open one and i believe i will go back to the open one so yeah open one right here and we're just going to work on this line you guys can see right behind his ear so open one i'm going to close it up a little bit if it doesn't get it and i believe we will go back to the half guard to take that little hint out that's left if you guys can see it there's just a little dark spot left so we'll come in with our half guard and get that all the way out now we're gonna go ahead and line up both sides guys for me I start on the vertical line going down the back of the neck and I want to find the first area that there's consistent hair all the way down. So imagine kind of like the M that we drew at the beginning of the video. We want to find the first place that we can put a line all the way down that has hair there. So I don't want to cut in too much, but I do want to make sure I'm able to get it sharp. So once I have the straight line, you guys can't really see it, but my middle finger, well there you can see it right there. My middle finger is rested and I'm able to pivot around my middle finger and get a nice perfect circle around the ear. So I'll work it around the ear and then go to the front of the ear and connect this all together. Probably go over it a couple times till it's nice and sharp and then we can move on to the other side. Also guys, if you are interested in the low pro clipper or trimmer that you see in this video, I did just drop an unboxing and review on those clippers. I'm loving them so far guys, they drop in February, but if you wanna know more about them, click the card up above and check that video out. All right guys, so you can see we are finishing up the lineup. The haircut is coming together, super nice. Like I said in the beginning, if you guys have any other topics or things that I can show like this, zoomed in and slow-mo, leave it in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss any more content like this. You guys know I try to bring some knowledge for you guys. As always guys, I appreciate everybody watching this video and I'll catch you guys next time.